Alright you guys, we are back. This is Divine Chakras. Shalom Ashayaya is my name. Divine Chakras LLC is the brand. Note this, right? <laughs> we are doing a reading. Excuse me. Let me get my water. Hold on. Okay, so we are doing our daily reading for today, which is um, May 23rd. Man, time is flying. We have eight more days left until the 31st of May. This weekend coming up is uh, Memorial Day. And... Uh, Just so you guys know, I do have um, tarot specials that are available going on right now until the end of May. Um, if you are interested in booking a tarot card reading with me, um, then you can follow the link below. The specials are not going to be in the actual schedule list be link. What you will need to do is look for the schedules in the our uh, schedules. You need to look for the specials in the description box below, which I will post for you guys today. And when I do the daily readings, then I will post the specials in there until the end of May, okay? I would def definitely take advantage of the specials because I'm going to start offering um, monthly tarot um, packages where you can receive a... Um, you can receive um, two to three tarot card readings a month for a set price. So in that way, you can always keep up um, as to what is going to be happening for you. Because you guys know that the that the energy shift um, every day, basically. So every day there's something different that we have to look forward to or not look forward to, but look forward to really at the end of the day. So you just want to make sure you are abreast as to what is going to be happening Um you know, every month for you. I can do a monthly spread. We can do weekly spreads. Like, you know, it's whatever. We can get it down. But I'm, I'm just here to assist you all and help you to move forward with, um, you know, decisions that you need to make in your life. All right. Just be aware that the tarot card readings can be done via video, meaning I can do a private link YouTube video, upload it, and you can access it um, entirely on your own. No one will see it except for me and you. Or you can do an actual in-person reading here at the shop if you're in the DMV area. Um, or we can do by phone. So it's totally up to you as to how you want the reading administered. But just be aware that there are several options for you. Okay? So without further ado, let's get started. We are going to, uh, as always, call in the energies of Bast Ampu. My aunt today, because um, I called her in yesterday and she delivered. So we're also going to call um, her energy in. Um, also, let's call in some segment energy. Let's 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 um, get some fiery energy in here today. Let's call in some Tahuti energy as well. Um, two male energies to give us some balance. Let's also tap into some Orisha energy. Let's do some Shango today. Um, Let's also do uh, Yemiya. Yemiya came to me first, so I'm going to go with Yemiya. Um, let's just also call in Oshun because um, I do believe I have a divine connection to Oshun. All right? And then let's also call in the energies of our of our ancestors that are of divine love and light, our ancestors that are, that are of the highest vibration that want to deliver a message to us today, Tarot. We um, allow you to speak for us. Okay, and let's get started. So spirit says shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. All right. I love this spread, actually. Tough tough times are over, man. Tough times are over. So the first card that came out was the Ten of Swords. Next came out the Page of Cups in reverse. Next is the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? 
Boy, this has been this has been probably a challenging week for some of you all, even though it is um, only Wednesday. Um, I know for me personally, like I've been like kind of just in a weird like little mood where I'm just like, man, you know, I just need to get shit on the ball. I need to get shit moving. Um, you know, my, my week started off kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> not even with the store opening, but just like other personal things that are going on in my life. Um, but I know like for me, like I feel like this is a trans, a trans, um, a transforming time that this is a time to build strength. This is a time to build intuition. This is a time to build gut and is a time to build your solar plexus and to really have a strong core. Um, because, you know, we have to be able to really push through the things that are being thrown at us. Sometimes the universe sends us tests to see how we're going to react, to see how we're act, what we're going to actually do in response to the situations that are happening around us. Okay. So, um, you know, this is all about des destroying. This is all about new hope. Okay. This is all about like your breaking point and you finally transferring. Like this is the end of a cycle. The Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle, okay? The the times in which you're going through, the hard times, um, you know, the negative shit that you have going on in your head, um, this this is this is all coming to an end, okay? So I just want you to be aware of that. Um, what backs that up here is the Five of Pentacles. So this is just telling me that your that your money issues are are coming to an end. Um, you know, your 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 the, the out in the cold feeling. This is a Taurus card, so we got that Taurus energy right now. That out in the that out in the that out in the dark feeling is like is going away. Okay, I just want you to know it's going away. It doesn't serve you anymore, so it's time to release it. It's time to release the pain, the guilt, the fear, the sorrow. It's time to release all of that. It doesn't serve you anymore, and it's not helping you. It's only pinning you down and keeping you down. So the minute you release it, then you'll start to have the swords falling out your back. Okay, you'll start to you'll start to stop feeling so like trapped in your head. A lot of us are trapped in our head. We're trapped in our thoughts. We're trapped in the expectations of the world. And we have to remember that we cannot be so caught up um, in the distractions of, of what's going on around us. Okay. So just be aware of that, you guys, that the end of a cycle is here um, and transformation is definitely on the horizon for a lot of you guys. All right. So let's touch on the page of wand or page of cups. Okay, so the page of cups is going to be literally turned upside down for me means that we are moving out of um, feeling like that naive, like emotional feeling, right? We're start we we've leveled up. Okay, we're leveling up and feeling more like we are um, the queen of our emotions. The next card after the page of cups is the queen, right? Um, so for me, I feel like the energy is flipped is because you are flipping into um, you're moving into the next phase, which is, you know, the queen of cups. Okay, we have what we've been working on all all this time I've been telling you guys to strengthen your intuition, strengthen your intuition, strengthen your intuition, um, you know, strengthen your passion, strengthen your love, strengthen your emotions. And you guys have been working on that. You have been doing that. Um, and so I do commend you for that. I, I do like appreciate the all the hard work that you're doing for those that are actually doing the hard work, you know, for those that are actually out here, what they say, doing the work for those that are doing the work. I truly do appreciate you doing that work. OK, so, um, you know, I always tell you guys that you create your reality you create things that happen in your life that will or will not I should say happen in your life so just continue to be on the path to greatness okay the, the end of a cycle is here all right hard times are over and you have leveled up and now you're stepping into your queen of cups okay you're stepping into it all right I love you guys so much positive positive reading for today just keep keep a positive head keep a positive heart allow the uh, universe to give you that abundance and that prosperity that you deserve i love you so much thanks for watching peace